to avoid roads, to avoid Lincoln Boulevard. We're being inundated with people speeding through their stop signs, looking on their cell phones. Any more traffic past our homes is going to be dangerous. We have a lot of children, lower income children, that are in the streets a lot, as in, you know, they go between houses and stuff, they go to the local school. Delivery trucks will be coming through our streets all day, as well as a lot more car traffic. For the developer to say that there will be no impact on our traffic is just so misleading, because anyone knows that DOT numbers on paper work on paper, but in reality, it's not the case. Um, then you cannot believe that there will be no impact on a residential neighborhood. An EIR needs to be done to look at that full impact on the traffic in our neighborhood, on the parking issues, including the ADA implications. This plan is lacking. It's so you just gonna go past the great, great time, I think. <laughs> oh. Okay, you could just cut it off now. Okay, Marcy. so we need- Ms. Marcy, no more. We need Ms. Marcy, Ms. Marcy. You can't help Ms. Marcy, Ms. Marcy. Ms. Marcy, Ms. Marcy, Ms. Marcy, Ms. Marcy, Ms. Marcy, you've been through this before. You've not been through this dance before. My name is David Thin, um, a director of real estate, uh, commercial real estate for Colton Bank or commercial. And last name is spelled T. Last name is spelled T H I N. I'm sorry, if I hear your name, David Thin. David Thin. T H I N D. Last name. Last name. Yes, that is correct. T H I N D. Yeah. Sorry, I can't hear it all right now. Both batteries went out. No. All right. Okay. But okay. I've basically been uh, very familiar with, with Venice uh, for the last five years. Uh, we've sold an abundance of property down over $300 million in sales and leasing. Some of these companies are uh, very large, Google, Snapchat, Microsoft, Facebook, and so on. They comprise over 600,000 feet of commercial space in the area. I talk to these people, I talk to the owners of uh, every property almost on a a monthly basis, and I also talk to the tenants that are on Evan Kenny and Rose and me, and 90% of them are in favor of this of this project in the sense of they need a hotel, they need a boutique hotel in Venice. Uh, they're telling me that they're basically most of their clients are forced to either go to Santa Monica or they're forced to go to Marina Del Rey to have that service. So I think having this hotel here, in, and it's a very reasonable hotel in my mind, uh, I think would serve the community greatly. And, uh, you know, even, uh, you know, I understand the concerns of the citizens of, of Venice, but, you know, property values, even their own property values have, have doubled and sometimes tripled in the last five years. So they, they have advantages too of, 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 uh, of being in Venice. but. Uh, I, I propose that uh, this be accepted and move ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ben.